16, 17, and 18. Starting with problem 16. This one is a complex fraction. x squared over 5 plus x squared over x plus 1 divided by 25 over x plus 1. We're going to treat this in steps. We are going to add the numerators. We don't have anything to add on the denominators. I made it easy. I just gave you one piece. And we're going to same, change, flip. So looking at the numerators, there's nothing to factor because they're already factored. My denominator has to have a 5, and it has to have an x plus 1. This one already had an x squared on the top, so that's what I started with. This x plus 1 is extra. Over here, this is what I started with. The 5 is extra, so I've got to multiply the top by 5, which gives me 5x squared. Okay. Now, let's simplify out the top. They have the same denominator, so I can bring the numerator together. x squared times x is x cubed plus x squared times 1 is 1x one squared plus 5 more x squared. So my numerator is going to be x cubed plus 6x squared over 5 parenthesis x plus 1. Now, I'm going to do same. This is my numerator. Change. Change that into a times. And I'm going to flip. x plus 1 over 25. I flip the denominator. Okay. That x plus 1 and that x plus 1 cancel. This 5 and this 25 are side by side. They do not cancel. The numerator factors but all I could do is pull out an x squared, and it will not simplify with this 125 I'm getting on the denominator. So my final answer is x cubed plus 6x squared over 125. Right. Now we leave those, and we go to variation. Direct inverse joint combo. So problem 17 if you read the instructions, it says it's a two-part problem. You must write an equation with a number in place of k, the constant of variation, and then you solve for what the problem asks. Okay? So number 17, I'm assuming that you're looking on your paper, says the amount of money M raised in a school fundraiser, <laughs> there's a typo, is varies directly, it should just say varies directly, as the number of people P who attend. So the amount of money that's raised varies directly. So that means equals K times the number of people. Okay, so M equals KP. Last year, the amount of money raised for 100 attendees was $2,500. So 2,500 equals K times 100 I divide both sides by 100, and I get K equals 25. If you hadn't figured it out yet, $25 is how much it costs to go to this um, event. Okay. So the first part said write an equation with a number for K. So that's my equation. Money raised equals 25 times participants or attendees or people. Now it says how much money will be raised if a thousand people attend this year? Twenty-five times a thousand is twenty-five thousand. So they will raise twenty-five thousand dollars if a thousand people come this year. So step one, figure out what kind of variation. This one said direct. So M equals KP. Direct is something equals a constant K times something else. It's just straight across. 
Then I used what they gave me for last year to figure out K. And then I take that K and plug it back in. And then I use that data to figure out this year. And that's number 17. All right. Problem number 18. If you hadn't figured out something, every word problem in here that had a person in it is, a, is one of you guys. So this is Caleb's problem. For the choir fundraiser, the number of tickets Caleb can buy is inversely proportional to the price of the tickets. Okay, so let's write that. The number of tickets that Caleb can buy is inversely proportional. That means K divided by the price of the tickets. So T equals K divided by P. Okay. He can afford 15 tickets that cost $5 each. So T was 15. And P was 5. So 15, to solve that, I multiplied this side by 5 and that side by 5. So K equals 75. So my formula is T equals 75 divided by P. If you haven't figured it out yet, Caleb has $75. The number of tickets he can buy is 75 divided by the price. Okay. How many tickets can Caleb buy if they cost $3? So tickets equals 75 divided by 3, which would be 25 tickets. So he can buy 25 tickets if they only cost 3. He can only buy 15 if they cost 5. If they cost 75, he can only buy 1. Okay. And that is 16, 17, and 